Well, today we have this uh, new um, method. It's a gel, not a cream. And this gel, it's, uh, uh, when applied on any skin surface, will disappear in about a minute. Therefore, you, you don't feel it after that. Uh, also, it had totally no odor of any kind. It was easy to carry about because it came in little, small little uh, packages like uh, a chewing gum stick, you know. That's what it looked like. Uh, and you tear it, you put it on your body and it dries up. That's it. Now, uh, the convenience of this new modality, the ease of administration, and um, the attractiveness was that uh, that we now have something which the patient can carry in his pocket. Now, the skin is an excellent, uh, is absolutely a very uh, good medium to absorb medications. So when you absorb it, it appeared in the bloodstream in a constant level. There was no fluctuation. And another good advantage about the skin as a way of administrating the uh, hormone was that um, if you felt that it was inappropriate to give it because the patient showed some changes in his chemistry, biochemistry, you can stop it the following day. If you give the three monthly injection, you have to wait for three months for the drug to disappear. And if there was any potential problem, you could not get rid of it. Well, the, the first one that we used uh, from time immemorial was the two or three weekly uh, injections. But the trouble with this method was that uh, it caused a rapid rise in the level and a very precipitous fall, which caused the temperament of the, the male to be sometimes unstable. And they lose temper, they, they get irritable and so forth. And also it, the, it also called for a need to appear at the doctor's clinic every three weekly. So it wasn't very successful. Many took on the, um, the treatment and they defaulted. The next era was the era of the tablet. The tablet was a very quick fix to the problem, very attractive. People thought that I could take two tablets in the morning, two at night, and it's wonderful. The problem was that um, it had to be taken with a fatty meal. And uh, uh, certainly you wouldn't want to get more fat. So uh, it wasn't easy for compliance for the patients. Uh, furthermore, even with the fat intake for it to be absorbed, the absorption was unpredictable. And not only that, it never really reached very high levels in the blood. Someone thought, why not a cream? Well, the first cream that appeared was a, um, a, a really a cream, a sticky cream. And the sticky cream had to be applied on the body. Uh, it had an odor, it had, it created skin allergy. It also required um, uh, uh, you to be in a temperate climate, living in a temperate climate to have it. Otherwise, in a humid climate like Singapore, it created a lot of problems. Uh, very uncomfortable feeling. It was supplied in a jar and you had to take a, a carefully measured amount every day and you couldn't be sure you got the right amount every day. And this jar was difficult to carry along when you were on a trip. The intramuscular three monthly injection. Uh, when this came about, it was then became uh, clear that people who are prepared to have a single injection every three monthly, and if the injection did not cause a, a transient rises and fall of the hormone, which the three monthly injection was capable of doing. So it was pretty successful when it was launched. People thought that uh, it was the ideal because you appear at the clinic once um, uh, every three monthly to, to get your injection. The problem was um, it was a painful injection. It had to be given carefully and if the, the doctor was a bit uh, impatient, it caused a lot of pain.